The very first thing that we learn as MPA students is public administration is different compared to other sectors. <laughs> um, public administration has a tends to have a variety of different issues that make it a little bit more complex. And um, these issues include managing stakeholders. They also include different value systems all coming together at one. So we developed a capstone um, plan that actually took those things into account. So we went through a unique project design process. And the results of, those process, of, the results of that process was we developed two distinct projects with the same theme, and that theme was repurposing. Hello, my name is Elaine, and my project delivered a set of financing strategies for the repurposing of Alameda Air Naval Station. And my name is Arif. In my project, I developed a geo-mapping tools for CD to map their value systems. And tonight, we are going to share with you the MPA capstone strategies. This design process helped us unravel complex idea layer by layer. It also helped us to break down all these complicated and overwhelming tasks into something that is manageable. So we went through the process of determining our purpose and finding insights and finding directions. And we also try different approaches. And finally, we ask the right questions, the questions that lead to action. So we were first tasked with developing the purpose for our projects. For me, it was important to have a project that addressed an issue that impacted everyone, regardless of their race, um, gender, identity, or uh, social class. And my purpose was to address issues around uh, cultural diversity. So I'd like to decode the complexity of value system and social codes. Defining a framework really helped us to set the stage for our project. And we also could feel more com comfortable with the complexity of it. And uh, we could embrace the necessary ambiguity. And most importantly, we could come up with something really tangible. So I oriented myself to city governments, the local government, and I constructed my framework to connect city government with community value system, and I also look at the use of open source data to inform decision making. So I started looking at communities in the city of Oakland. And similar to our reef, I was interested in local government, but I was also interested in urban planning, thanks to Kristen, and I was interested in base realignments, and I was interested in livability and affordable housing. Uh, and so I think this is the part in the process where Arif and I began to realize that even though we had entered into this process with very similar purposes, our projects were headed into two different directions. We were next tasked with developing actionable questions. So the purpose of the actionable questions was to help us generate evidence-based and the methodologies that we would need for our projects. Uh, I began to focus more on one base in particular, Alameda, and as a result, I had to take a step back and revisit my conceptual framework, keeping Alameda in mind. After completing this task, I developed a series of actionable questions around what was preventing the redevelopment efforts at Alameda Point. And my actionable questions focus on the tools that can give cities insights into their community value system. Because cities are becoming more and more diverse. And in yet, in the public sector, we could hardly see any tools that track communities' value system. So value systems are like iceberg. To be able to see what lies underneath the surface, we should be able to see the sign, the part that are, that are visible to us. So I look at the different approaches, and I decided to map values for signs around us. So I started looking at the social system, and 
you know, purchase habit. But I ended up also with something really tangible, like yoga center or, or basketball court. And I analyzed case studies around base realignments. And I also looked at failures associated with projects in the Bay Area and the California area. And as a result, I was able to develop a set of financial strategies for the redevelopment efforts at Alameda Point. In the end, I think Arif and I's project still had that common theme, which was repurposing. The true essence of my project was to kind of figure out what's needed to redevelop a base and what tools could help us do so. I learned that it's common for these types of projects to fail and that financial strategies play a vital role in ensuring the long-term economic growth and the vitality of many communities. Where I'm at now is sharing my findings with the city of Alameda via an executive memo. And I repurpose open source data. I look at the value system inventory tools and I, uh, I recode different set of data and I started classifying that into values group. And then finally, with their geolocations, I created this map. So this is the value system map of city of Oakland. As you notice that in different neighborhood, different value system plays at the same time. And you also notice that there are multiple value system working at the same time in the same neighborhood. So we learn here to bring order to complexity. This tool has been really helpful for our projects. And we're confident that this tool is going to be useful for us as professionals. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.